Hey YouTubers, um, my name is Kiri14 um, and I just want to show you basically today um, how to work out songs by ear. Um, I post uh, a lot of punk rock videos, covers uh, on YouTube and I get lots of comments. People asking me um, uh, could I put up the tabs or could I tell them how it's played and, and I think that's great, you know, but I don't know how to write tabs so what I want to do is I want to show people how to work out a song by ear. So I'm going to do this song that you can hear in the background. Last one to die by Rancid. Um, so I'm going to take it back to the start. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to work out the chords of the rhythm part. Um, I'm going to show you basically how to play the, the, the intro solo and the, the main solo. and. Um, basically, I'll take it from there. So, basically, how I work out songs is I use clean guitar and I try to do the bass line. Basically, uh, it's also a good idea to have the guitar in tune. Um, I use uh, a Boss uh, chromatic tuner. Um, any tuner will do, um, but it's good to have the guitar in tune when you're trying to work out a song by ear. Now, Rancid, for example, they're usually tuned to E, so. Um, if you tune your guitar to E, um, then you should be able to work this out, hopefully. So, basically, I'm going to just play the start, and I'm going to show you how I work out. Now, you can hear there that they pretty much matched up. Um, so I'll play that again and So basically, um, it's the more you practice this, the more you get it. Um, I actually think it's better than tabs because you can work out songs faster. Okay, um, it's getting to know the sound of certain chords, getting to know that G, that C, that D, that E, the basic chords, and then usually like um, chords fit into keys anyway. You know, so like if you play a song in the key of G, you're going to find. C and D usually in there, and so it is with this song. So, and then it breaks into the normal part of the song that goes. Now, you saw me doing uh, something a little different there, and that's pan muting. Basically, what I do is I put my hands over just over the bridge. Where they're barely touching the, su the strings on this side of the bridge, right here, and it gives a nice dampened effect, like. And then I lift off for the other bit. Now, at the start of the song, I go back again, um, basically, there's a little bit of a lead. that's basically played like this. I'm going to go right up close. Um, your middle finger goes on the 5th fret, 3rd string down. Your index finger goes on the 4th fret, 4th string down. So you get that sound. And then the rest of it goes Now, uh, 
I'm going to forward on a little bit and I'm going to work out the solo. Here we are. Well, let's hear it first. I'm going to show you how it's played. So it's kind of like. So it's on the fifth fret, um, and it's on the second string down, and you roll up from the bottom to the fifth, and you hit the string just below it on the fifth as well. So it goes. pretty much in the same area. I'll do it one more time. Then you bend this one and then you try and get back. Okay, now um Basically, working all tones by ear um, is basically you try to find the bass line for it first. Find it not by the chords, but by the bass strings. Just by hitting one string on the G, on the first string down, and the third fret, and it's the G. And then the one below it, the second string down, and the third fret is the C. And it's the D. Then it's back to C. So it's a good idea to learn off the bass strings, you know, like um, open is E, first one.